Welcome to a brand new week. This is the BNFT Digest. I'm Lily Pearl Baba O2. CEO of the Business and Financial Times, Edith Danka, has said to drastically reduce the estimated food import bill of 1.5 billion US dollars, the country's approach to agriculture needs a rethink. She calls for a thorough mechanization and firming up of the agrochemical and food processing industries. At a public lecture in Accra organized by the Institute of Chartered Economics, Ghana, she said agriculture needs to be treated properly because a look at the import bill on food, including fish, tomato paste and others, showed a clear need to mechanize agriculture in order to produce at optimal capacity. Parliament on Thursday passed the Petroleum Exploration and Production Bill into law, with the Petroleum Minister Emmanuel Amakofibwa describing it as good news. He believes it will attract lots of investments for the country and send a clear message that Ghana is really open for business and determined to become the hub of oil production in the sub-region. Government spending commitment on road-related projects is set to hit its highest level this year since the Ghana Road Fund was established in 1985. Figures from the Finance Ministry indicate that between January and May this year, the Ghana Road Fund spent about 408.6 million Ghana cities, which is 296% more than it had planned for the first five months of this year. In a year, roads have become a key issue in the lead-up to the December general elections. So that's it on the BNFT Digest. For more stories, you can visit the bftonline.com or you can grab a copy of the BNFT newspaper. My costume is provided by GTP. Enjoy the rest of your day.